Hey guys, and welcome back to another lap guide here on the Coach Dave Academy YouTube channel. My name is Matt Emery with Guild Racing. I'm here for another lap guide for week seven at the Spa Franco Sharp circuit. Uh, let's get into the hot lap. So let's get into the hot lap guide then for the Spa circuit. Um, obviously starting here at the final corner. Cross the line to start our lap. As far to the left hand side as we can, especially in qualifying. And then heavy braking down to turn one for the La Source hairpin. Um, just for your braking reference, you're braking just in front of the 100 meter board up here um, to the left hand side. Um, about 60% or so on the brake pedal. Really easy to lock up, especially as the the track sort of falls away from you at the apex so just make sure we're not braking too hard um if you are struggling with front locking then i suggest just moving the brake bias to the rear um which is obviously the lower percentage um yeah on the brakes about 100 meters down to second gear and then first at the apex um notice we're not really apexing too much towards the wall trying to keep that minimum speed around the corner uh, using too much of the curb at the apex get it turned in in one fluid motion and then on the throttles as we can use all of the track on the exit um, and the, again, the limit is about the edge of the curb, um, as it is with most, most circuits now. Um, so it's absolutely fine to use. Then we head down towards Arouge and Radion. Very important to stick close to this wall on the right hand side as we go in. Put all of the car across this curb, all of the AstroTurf as well. And then follow through the curb on the inside here. We Now with this update with the Porsche, you have to have a lift through here. Um, and we didn't use to, it used to be completely flat, but now you've got a little bit less front end to deal with. So, uh, yeah, bit of a lift midway through, just to make sure, make the uh, apex at the top, which is Radion. Um, yeah, so, and I'm cutting across this curb all together as well. Um, just to make sure we're not going too much further than that, so we don't pick up an off track. And also a slowdown, I believe, if you go too far. Uh, just be careful, especially if you're attempting any overtakes, you're in the dirty air. Um, just make sure we're not going flow, you know too far over here just so we don't pick up that slowdown full throttle then as we head towards Lacombe on the Kemmel straight it's one of the few tracks I do actually know some of the names uh, to the left hand side then for Lacombe heavy braking again about 120 meters 125 meters before the corner 
about 60% again, using this curb as well on the uh, entry to the corner. So just making sure we're opening up the corner as we can. Down to second gear, sorry, third gear. Just apexing really nicely again on this inside um, AstroTurf. I don't know what it is exactly, but I'll just call it AstroTurf. Um, same again with this one. Third gear, following it round, sticking it over to the left-hand side as much as we can on the exit. And then using the apex curve as well. Again, using this bit of this strip of, of tarmac or, or AstroTurf on the apex. Back on full throttle. This whole section's in third. So don't need to worry about many gear changes. Nice and consistent all the way through here. Um, slight dab of brake for this corner as well. Only about 5-10% just to make sure we get the nose into the corner. And then back on the throttle. Third gear again. And then using all of the exit curb as well. Again, the limit is the edge of the curb. So as long as we've got some sort of wheel on the curb, we're absolutely fine. Back onto the circuit then. And we head down towards next corner. Down to second gear for this one. Notice we're turning in quite early. So we're diving it into the apex here. We've got first apex just about here. Rather than taking a nice round um, corner and apexing midway through. We're apexing really early. Nice and wide. Nice V-shape. Really wide at the apex here. Or at the midpoint of the corner where we usually would apex. And then pull it back for the second apex on the exit. Pull it back again to the right hand side. Just make sure we open up this next left hander of no name. And then all over the AstroTurf on the exit as well. Um, again, as long as we've got some sort of wheel on the curb, that's absolutely fine. You can use all of this AstroTurf and you won't pick up an off track. Just make sure we're using the curb as much as we can as well on the apex. And then head down towards Puon. Again, just make sure we hold it to the right-hand side. Using the curb as well to open up the corner as much as we can on the entry. Down to fourth gear. Following around the apex. Not using the curb as it does unsettle the car slightly and will send you slightly wide. So just going around the curb. Taking a nice sort of wide line. Um, sweeping around the corner. Not using much of the exit curb. And then following again around the white line. And then using all of the curb right on the exit of Puon. Break it again in a straight line, just before we head underneath this banner. There's not really too much of a reference here um, that you can use. But you're looking at maybe just the edge of that white line, or the end of that bit of tarmac there, sorry. Um, you can start braking, so it's quite a good race. Down to third gear, following around the curb again. Just making sure we get a nice early apex. Holding the brake really nice, and then back on the throttle. Come back off the throttle, and dab the brake again. Third gear still. And then all of the exit curb, again, absolutely fine to go out here. Just make sure we've got a wheel on the curb here. Back across then to open up Stavolo. Third gear. Have a couple of stabs at the throttle there. And again, really wide on the exit, just using all of this Astro Turf. Again, absolutely fine using uh, the Astro as long as we've got a wheel on the curb. Um, and also notice on the entry, I'll open it up all the way with this curb on the entry as well. Doesn't unsettle the car at all, so it's absolutely fine to use. And then holding it in third gear. If you are struggling with getting the car turned, as we did here slightly, you can go down to second and just get that extra rotation. But yeah, as long as you use all the track, it should be absolutely fine. Slight lift as we head through this final right hand of this sector. And as long as, again, we've got a wheel on the curb uh, or on a white line here, well, that's absolutely fine. And then flat out towards the end of the lap. Just take the line of least resistance here as straight as we can without putting too much stirring in at all. On the white line and on the white line on the entry. Slight lift again, completely off the throttle there. You'll notice if you look at the throttle trace, got a massive lift. But as long as we don't scrub too much speed off, that's absolutely fine. Get it into a nice bit of camber on the apex as well and using this curb to get the car rotated. And then using all of the exit curb as well. Um, just be really careful you don't run onto this part of the circuit because you get an automatic off track for that so just be careful you notice we're flicking it straight back to the racing line and then heading down to the final corner heavy braking zone just in line with this line here is our braking point about just before the uh, 150 meter board heavy braking down to second gear and then first at the apex using all of the sausage curb you know there's a lot of camber you can use um the closer you are to the apex the more the car will stick and rotate so just make sure we're getting as close to that sausage curb as we can and then same with the second one as well the sausage curb helps us rotate and then full throttle all the astro turf to the line and that completes a lap of the spa circuit 
So that was the hot lap guide then for the Spa circuit for week seven here on iRacing. My name has been Matt Emery with Coach Dave Academy. Obviously, make sure to check out all the latest setups and data packs um, in the links below. Obviously, our website and on the Discord as well. Any questions, just let us know down there. Uh, but yeah, I will see you next week for week eight. Take care, guys.